the different kinds of games, whether it's a console game uh, or a PC game, uh, a Facebook or social game, or a mobile game, all have slightly different models. So maybe I can just quickly go through each one of those. The traditional uh, model has been you go to the store, you, you buy a $40 or $50 box, you bring it home and put the, the CD or DVD into your, your Xbox or your computer and play the game. Um, that has evolved in like World of Warcraft. Uh, definitely was one of the leaders getting, I think, uh, 11 million plus users to not only pay the $40 up front, but to pay an extra $12 to $15 a month for a subscription, which when you do the math, it turns into a lot uh, a lot more lucrative business. Um, so th their model turns into a retention model of keeping the customers happy uh, in their multiplayer game. Um, mobile changes things quite a bit. It's actually mobile right now uh, with the success of the iPhone and Android phones um, is taking quite a big chunk out of the, uh, the handheld space, so, such as like the Sony PSP or the, the Nintendo uh, handheld machines. Um, because a lot of gamers are going to uh, are, are using their their phones or their their iPod touches or their iPads uh, for gaming, the gaming model is quite a bit different there, um, and it's evolving really quickly right now. Currently, the 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 model is is one of two. It's either kind of the Angry Birds model, where you have you put a 99 cent game out there, and you hope to sell millions of units of that. Uh, Apple will take 30 percent. Uh, so you're, if you charge a dollar for a game, you're left with 70 cents uh, on top of that. The other model is really a freemium model, which is uh, going across both uh, or mobile, social, as well as um, some of the, the online or, or PC games are, are going freemium. The idea is I give a, away a game for free, and then I can charge uh, some virtual currency of a dollar, two dollars, uh, for uh, extra items, extra characters, extra weapons, unlocks, extra levels, that type of thing. So the idea is it's very hard to be, get discovered uh, in the mobile marketplaces. So if you put a free game out there, many more people are, are going to download that game. Uh, if, if it's free, if you put it for, for a dollar or two dollars, that's going to immediately uh, probably, you know, it depends on the game, but it could probably be a hundred times less than number, number of users would, would, would purchase it versus getting a, a wide base and then trying to then upsell that base. Um, some people also have uh, ad revenue uh, in there where they, you can have a free game that is ad supported uh, in, in mobile and the game developer will get a small, uh, they get about a dollar, two dollars per thousand ads that are served in there. Uh, which is, is not very much money at all. The ads are annoying, they're, they're slow to load usually, um, and there's often an option to uh, remove the ads by, say, paying a dollar for, for the, the, the experience or the game. Um, on social right now, Facebook is, is definitely the, the only game in town. Um, Google Plus is, is new. There's rumors about it you know, becoming a gaming platform. I'm sure that will happen. Um, but right now, uh, Zynga is the, the champion there. Uh, Zynga and Facebook are very heavily uh, tied together in terms of their success. Um, uh, Farmville, Mafia Wars, Zynga Poker, uh, Words with Friends is now uh, part of Zynga. Um, many, many games uh, of some of the, the, the bulk of game players are playing Zynga games and Farmville being currently and for the last you know, few years, the, the, the reigning champ. Um, Zynga's model is a, very different than the other models where the game is free to play, but it's very time limited. It, you, it, it, for, if those of have played Farmville, if you haven't, you, you've got to go and just try Farmville. Um, it, it is a time metered game. So basically you can play, you can put a certain amount of, of uh, items down, you can grow your farm, but if I plant a seed, it might take an hour for that seed to mature. The whole game design is to really make people impatient and frustrated so that they spend real money to buy virtual unlocks. So if I don't want to wait that hour because I'm too frustrated, oh, I could pay, uh, you know, 30 credits or 50 credits or something, which might be a dollar, might be two dollars, um, and boom, my seed is now uh, fully mature and I can harvest it. Um, there's a whole series of uh, actions that, that a Zynga game will, will take you through. 
to get you to follow a purchase cycle very closely. It will, it will frustrate you, it will reward you, it will encourage you to send gifts to your friends, which is really just viral marketing. It will encourage you to ask your friends for gifts, which is an advanced form of, of viral marketing. Um, so it's really understanding kind of the, the psychology of, of gifting, the psychology of what the user uh, gets frustrated by, and then how to monetize that at the right pain points, uh, really. Sounds kind of brutal, but um, that's how these games make money. And they don't just make money, they, they print money. Um, they, they make a tremendous amount of, of cash per day. So you, you discussed four models. One was the, uh, buy the bits, buy the actual application. And then an add-on to that model, and this is the World of Warcraft model, is buy the application and then also have a subscription to use it on an ongoing basis. Mm -hmm. Then you talked about the freemium model, where you give away the application for free, but for paying a little bit extra, you are you get more functionality or you get to get rid of the ads or that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And then you also talked about ad revenue, so you could have ads popping up inside the application and that will give you money, but that's probably the lowest grade, it sounds like. The, the, the hardest way to make money because you get very little per ad. And then the final one you talked about was the Farmville model of selling virtual goods, mm -hmm. getting people to pay for virtual goods, giving away the application itself, but frustrating them so that in uh, to get further along in the application or to shortcut it or to um, uh, unlock things, you'll pay money. Absolutely.